hey guys what is up welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here i'm renee and today's video is going to be me testing a couple of new products from milani right into the video and i hope you guys enjoy it so this is the milani conceal and perfect foundation in the color 230 light beige and it looks like this Um, so hopefully it's my color. I've never used a stick foundation, so I'm kind of excited and nervous at the same time. Um, I'm just going to use a beauty blender. I don't really like using brushes, so let's go for it. Um, oh wow, this is like spot on my color. beauty blender it's kind of weird I feel like is it gonna blend because it's like you know um. so let's just go and look at the foundation itself and see what it claims okay. So it claims our full coverage creamy foundation stick blends seamlessly to cover imperfections and even skin tone. This weightless stick delivers a natural matte finish that lasts up to 12 hours. The transfer and water resistant formula contains bamboo powder to absorb oil and lily extract to lighten the look of pores available in 20. Show you the other side of my face and then go from there and probably end up doing a second coat. So let's go one more. We're gonna do one more covered, see if it's buildable, see if it gets cakey, see if it looks better. I'm gonna go and do my eyebrows and I'll be right back. Okay guys, my eyebrows are on and um, they're not finished, but right now they're on, so that's all we care about. So next, I'm going to move on to concealer. Let's see how the, I know how the concealer blends on my other foundations, so let's see if this foundation works well with other concealers and other products. Is a big, um, is a big test for this foundation or for any new foundation. So I'm going to go in first with, I have a hair on my face. I'm gonna go in first with the Maybelline Master Conceal in the color 20 Light. Like I said, this is too light for me, so I mix it and I have some stuff on my finger from doing my eyebrows. Um, so I mix it with the LA Girl Pro Conceal, so I'm gonna just put this first, just a little here in the corner, wherever I want it the brightest. With our Beauty Blender. I like to switch back and forth between both eyes so that you're getting an even amount of product. Okay, so far so good. It looks like it blended great with the foundation. Looks good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and conceal my nose. Like being a little bit brighter. So I'm just gonna put some of that there and blend that out. Take it between my brows. I need to get them done. So far, so good. Everything's blending great. So we're gonna move right into the eyes, and I'm gonna be using the Morphe Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. This one right here, because we're just gonna go for a very simple look. And I'm also gonna be using the Milani blending brush that looks like this I just this is a new one brush. let's dip into the color secure which is this like orangey color taking the Milani brush into the color agent it's a little bit of a darker orangey color okay. 
I'm gonna take the color Smooth Criminal, which is this very uh, darkish brown. It's not too dark, it's just a regular old brown. And we're gonna kind of put that in our outer corner and just kind of darken this look a little. Morphe M441 brush and I'm gonna take those the secure and agent and go back over that because I feel like we kind of lost that color while we were putting this darker color on and I'm just gonna kind of blend everything together let's go in with coin just put that on gonna go back in with that Milani brush I don't know if I'm gonna put any product on it but I'm gonna just kind of blend everything right here into the shimmer okay the eyes are done I'm gonna go ahead and um, set my under eyes with the Cody airspun powder into lashes I'm not sure if these are new lashes because I'm not a big fan of eyelashes I haven't found the perfect ones for me they just all really annoy me but the box says new so these are the kiss blowout lashes they look like this this says spool bouncy volume and curl here's like a close-up of them look really pretty Okay guys, so I just put some lash glue on my lashes. I'm going to let them get a little bit tacky. We'll go ahead and move into the two or last two products that I got from Milani is the Sun Kissed Silky Matte Bronzing Powder. Looks like this. I'm excited to try this because it just sounds so good. And the other, the last thing I got was the Luminous Light Hypnotic Light Highlighter, which looks like this. So here is the bronzer. Now that I'm looking at it, I feel like I might have gotten two of a light color, but that's okay, we'll work with it. This is the Wet n Wild Contouring Brush. Looks like this. And we're just gonna go in for it. Okay, it has a lot of, a lot of dust. like I'm contouring my face but I just like to go in with this brush first oh it smells like coconut and then I know it looks bad Hold on. I like to take this Kenzie brush that I got from TJ Maxx and kind of dip back in and since it's a little bit fluffier it just like really works better like blending everything out I'm gonna take my L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. I'm gonna put a little bit of that on before I put my lashes, just a little bit. So they have something to stick to. The lashes are on. Let's throw some mascara over them to blend them with the lashes I barely have. Um, I'm gonna wait on this one because I just put it on and I don't want it to just like stick to the mascara and just we're just gonna quit the video at that point. Milani highlighter, let's test it out. Let's hope it's great. Let's pray to the highlight god. 
So here's the highlight. This is what it looks like. So I'm going to be using the Ulta Beauty Blush Brush, but I like to use it for highlighting. And let's just dip in here. Oh, it's pigmented. Ooh. Okay, this reminds me of the e.l.f. Um, pink diamond highlight, which is like way cheaper. Very pretty though. I am finished. This is the finished look. So, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hopefully, it wasn't all over the place. And I hope you guys give me a huge thumbs up. Leave me some comments down below on other videos you would like to see. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video.